Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to a new lightsaber unboxing video here today I have the limited edition Jedi Temple Guard hilt the limited edition of 3000 they initially released on Shop Disney and then they finally came to Orlando and to Anaheim at Galaxy's Edge at Doc Ondar's and I was lucky enough to get my hands on one so uh, let's open it and see what it looks like Here's the cool thing about this lightsaber that I think is really, really cool. It comes with the pike itself. So you have this piece right here, but it seems like you're gonna be able to take that middle piece out, screw in ends, and have like the way the temple guard lightsaber is supposed to be, and it bend. Okay, I figured it out. You have to press these two buttons down here. So you press these two down here, and it folds. Doing this with one hand is really hard folds like that when you push those buttons down. So you can have two lightsabers standing upward. Standing out of this upward, very cool. This thing is cool. I love the like wood on the back. I like this a lot. I used to have the original Temple Guard lightsaber but I sold it to a friend of mine who is uh, a bigger fan of the Temple Guard stuff and was trying to collect all the legacy sabers. And I was gonna get this one initially came out but I just wasn't a good time and luckily it happened to work out for me this time. Um, because this is better than the original one. This looks fantastic. So I brought in some blades. Let's see what it looks like all lit up. We know it's going to be a yellow blade, just like the other one, but this one feels better, I think. Plus, now I have two temple guards. <laughs> of course, it comes with the lightsaber plugs. But this stuff right here is the most interesting part to me. So I've already seen that you screw this off this. So let's show you that. And then you can put the end caps on. It makes it like a regular legacy saber. 
and then you put them inside the hinge. So let's see how this works. So now you have two individual lightsaber hilts from the Temple Guard. There's this one and this one, and we are gonna connect them here to the piece that connects them and turns them into like the Dark Ray or the Temple Guard swoosh lightsaber. I don't know what you call it, but like it, it hinges. The hinge, I should have made it clear though, but this right here, the bottom silver piece, this bottom silver piece right here, is how you make it an individual saber. If you want to put it into this, you just take either the pike piece off here or the bottom silver part off and connect it there. I gotta scoot way back with the camera here so you can see this because this is so sweet. So then you just press these buttons in here. And now you have a Temple Guard lightsaber that you can swing out. How cool. How cool. The only complaint I do have is that when you're putting in the lightsaber on one of these, it, when you go to twist it, this hilt twists away from the pike. It's a little bit of a design flaw, but other than that, I mean, you can just grip it back. It doesn't like fall off or anything. It just kind of comes a little loose. But other than that, it is a, a beautiful saber, and I'm very happy to have another Temple Guard back in the house, back in the lightsaber family. So overall, I am very, very happy with this set. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. The box is, I love this kind of stuff. Um, I like that I got a low number. That's just, you know, roll the dice, but it's pretty cool. And uh, I like it a lot. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you have one. If you do have one, let me know what number you got. And uh, thank you for watching. Stay safe. May the force be with you.